We got the expression fx equal to product of x minus 10 and x plus 13. The question is forward value of x does it happen that fx reach minimum? Let's write fx once again. fx equal to product of x minus 10 and x plus 13. We can multiply it out. We can apply distributive law to get x square minus 10x plus 13x that's plus 3x minus 130. Now we can render this expression to be a perfect square by writing this as x square plus 2 times x times 3 by 2. Okay, we are maintaining the equality, but as we said, we want it to be perfect square. We get an expression like a square plus 2 times a times b. We need plus b square. So let's write plus 3 by 2 whole thing square. But we don't get the equality, so to maintain the equality, I should write minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 square. And then minus 130, I can write it as it is. Minus 130, we can write it as it is. So this expression x square plus 2 times x times 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 square is a perfect square. And we can write it this as x plus 3 by 2 whole thing square rest of the expression minus 130 we can copy as it is minus 9 by 4 we can copy as it is minus 9 by 4 now when is it that this expression is minimum x plus 3 by 2 whole thing square is either positive quantity or 0 so at the minimum it can be 0 so fx is minimum when x equal to minus 3 by 2 so the correct option is option d